We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Eugene Jua who is Executive Vice Chairman and CEO of the Nigerian Communications Commission. Dr. Jua, very Thank nice you. to see you again. Very Thank nice. you very much. Thank you very much for being in the studio with us. Thank you. Now the central theme at ITU Telecom World 2014 is future in focus. What developments in technology policy or business do you see as key to the near future? Well, um, the, the, the future in focus means that we are living uh, what has been and going into the future. Um, it looks at a complete restructuring of the industry, moving from voice to what we call a converged situation. Uh, we, we see that everything is moving from voice to data. And to be able to do that, you will first of all start with a good plan, a, broad, a broadband plan which we already have done in Nigeria. Uh, this is actually a key policy uh, part to start with the new restructuring. Now, regulation is also extremely important. How does regulation need to adapt for the future? Yeah, well, the, the plan is just a policy statement. Uh, in details, regulation has to come in. And in Nigeria, we have adopted the open access model. The open access model means that the infrastructure for broadband will be open for everybody at the same rate, at the same level, no, no matter the size of the company. And that for some, in, in a way, it has also to be regulated by the, the regulator. Yes. And in terms of uh, the regulatory approach that you've had in Nigeria, how has that really helped to deliver broadband? Well, we, we have adopted the open access model, as I said, and we have uh, started the licensing for infrastructure companies, which we call the infracos. We have divided up Nigeria into seven areas. Uh, we have started with the phase one of the licensing, which covers our commercial center, which is Lagos, and then the north central part of Nigeria, which includes the new capital, Abuja. We hope that the licenses for these infrastructure companies will be delivered this December. And what's the main value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World 2014? I know that Nigeria has a, a big pavilion here. There's obviously a lot of important people here. I just wanted to get your own perspective from the, of this uh, event. Well, in, in, in this sort of event, you meet the people that really influence the industry. People who think that that is not the uh, case, but in our experience, that has been the case. They attend your, lunch, your lunches, attend your dinners, but they listen to what you say. And they come back to ask you more detailed questions. So we always come here to showcase what we have and then listen to what other people are doing also in case we may learn from them. And what is your main message for participants and delegates here at this year's ITU Telecom World? Well, my main message is that telecom is changing. Uh, there are still a lot of profit margin in voice, and there is a temptation to stay with voice. But I can tell everybody listening that if you stay with voice, you will lose. The industry is changing, it's changing to data, and the earlier you move, the better. Finally, I'm just going to just throw in a quick question. I've been asking a lot of the people sitting where you are now. In terms of key technological developments, which one do you think is going to make the most difference in the next five or ten years? Well, first of all, there's a move to 4G, which is data, and a move to, to having fiber infrastructure in the ground. You can never do without that. Then in, the applications come up. The applications to change lifestyle will come up. The fact that a knowledge-based economy, contribution to GDP, all these are very, very necessary. These are changes that we're expecting. Thank Dr. Eugene Joe, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>